And the idea of being able to pick up a sword, engage in a sword fight, hear and feel the clash of blades, and insert yourself into that situation is, I think, very appealing to people. Well, maybe the clashing of steel is just appealing to us thrill seekers. Like maestro Sean Hayes, who studied the art of European medieval sword fencing for over 15 years. The draw? That's easy. I mean, where do you get to go and do sword fighting? And especially sword fighting with large two-handed swords. Sounds extreme to me, so I stood up to see if I can channel a 14th century knight. Uh, the first thing is a chest protector. <laughs> this is good, Lady in the Opera. Mm -hmm. Over that goes your jacket. This might take a while. And this is just the training gear. And for training okay. are these right here. Is this because you um, want to slice your fingers off? or do you guys? Well, there won't be any slicing because the swords aren't sharp. Okay. Yeah, we lose more practice partners with sharp swords than we want to. <laughs> Why do they always say something like that before throwing me in the mix? So this is a long sword. Uh, this is a type that was in use uh, very commonly around 1400 in Europe. This is way more extreme than I'd imagined. That was almost you right there. My three foot long sword isn't heavy. In fact, it only weighs about three pounds. It's drawing the sword that's so difficult. We practice the posta diana or woman's guard, which is more or less appropriate than the fendente. Front like this. And then what we'll avoid doing is having heels in line. I'm going to use form this X right here. That was my crash course. Time for the real deal. And you become the masked marble. If I can just pick up my sword. My first attempt is to just position myself on guard, but all of this metal is seriously holding me back. That and my instinct of seeing a sword coming at me, I just want to get out of the way. It's kind of, kind of <laughs> Tracking is every step. This endurance sport becomes all about tactics, but just a moment of hesitation and... Oof, just cut my leg off. It would be a lot easier to see you and fight you if I had opened my eyes. Got your you got left arm. Yep. Chopped it off. We're just gonna go ahead and you know thank each other for the for the fight. Thank you for not killing me.